Okay, the next section is, uh, the next uh, presentation is from Babette, which I'm going to present on her behalf. Uh, Uh, okay. So basically, the the the, uh, the research, which is part of the the bigger project, this is one of the uh, one uh, component of the bigger project, which is to build capacity to do research and uh, and also build professional capacity for those who are working on urban development and planning. So it's also uh, 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 the outcome of this research would inform the policy. Uh, uh, those who are development planner uh, in 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 uh, in, ur in urban and suburban area, and those who are doing the master actually is a part of a work by master program um, hosted by uh, Asian Institute of Technology. So the research um, is about to understand the dynamics, the mutually reinforcing uh, reinforcing effect of climate change on the peri-urban. Uh, area uh, which is uh, suffering climate re uh, uh, climate related water threats and also and, uh, and also uh, the dynamic between uh, social differentiated gender vulnerability and the whole thing that affects the ability of people men and women in in adapting to the the, the climate threats um, the Basically, the, the research uh, raised four questions, how people, uh, what are the drivers of vulnerability in terms of so biophysical, social, gender, political, economic, on, uh, on, on those people who are living in, this, in such context, uh, 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 and how people adapt to such uh, situation, what are enabling, disabling uh, factors that constrain uh, those community in, in, in uh, uh, adapting and coping with those vulnerability, and also what are the possibility, what are the, 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 the chance to influence the policy maker in terms of, of, of developing a development uh, planning in those uh, peri-urban areas. Uh, the research is now come to, uh, the research has two phases, the, uh, and I, uh, this is just come to the end of the first phase, uh, which uh, basically, well, uh, they have done uh, some uh, history of water threats, identifying uh, like what are the, 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 the disaster or climate factor affected in those uh, areas. Uh, they, uh, they conduct a mapping on, on peri-urban, uh, what are the disaster um, related to water threats, social economic profiling, uh, survey on people perception on climate change, uh, uh, some, some uh, Research on infrastructure and program in place uh, on related to water threats or dealing with those uh, water threat situation and some gender analysis, primary very drop on the uh, livelihood and water use management. Um, the research is in Southeast Asia region, basically uh, in Vietnam, uh, Philippines, and uh, Thailand, which I'm going to present just the finding of, 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 of of Vietnam, uh, actually uh, not Vietnam, but uh, a province close to Hanoi, which is uh, in the north part of Vietnam, because we don't have time and because I'm coming from Vietnam, so it's easier to present this uh, case study. Uh, so this picture presents a kind of very uh, 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 snapshot of where the study site is, which is uh, located on the riverbank, very low, and you, you also see it's very, it's kind of flooding all year round. Uh, and this is uh, the, the whole community. Uh, it doesn't look like a rural community anymore because people are, are, are shifting their livelihood from agriculture base to more non-farm kind of uh, 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 income generation activity. So basically, uh, they are living on uh, still agriculture uh, because if they they they, they have to. If they don't do anything on the land, the government will take the land back. So that's why they still have to do some agriculture uh, work. But uh, they are developing more uh, uh, like off farm, like this is a furniture shop, and also a recycle uh, mantle, uh, which basically they collect junk, uh, mantle junk, and, and then wash it and melt it and you know sell it again. Uh, 
And uh, okay, the initial finding in terms of what are the driver of vulnerability in those uh, 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 community is uh, basically because it's located in, in the lowland river bank, so it's, they get flooding all year round, and the river itself is um, so polluted because all the neighborhood and all the people, all the kind of community who live along the river basically release um, uh, their, their wastewater in, directly into the river bank without any treatment. And uh, the main water source of those communities are underground water for daily uh, living and also for, for production itself. Say, for example, the mental melting workshop. Uh, and those communities also bear the common characteristic of peri-urban uh, uh, area, which is uh, the increasing population. Actually, having more children in the family is a symbol of wealth, so you know, need to have more children. And because of that, they build more houses and workshops uh, on the river bank and also eating up the land uh, rice cultivation area. So there, there are less rice fields and ponds uh, in the areas now that, cause to the, uh, that also uh, cause uh, very bad uh, water sanitation. Uh, they, they don't get the government much government support in building infrastructure on sanitation or water pipe. So, um, and also the, the, the discharge from daily activity production uh, will be sent directly to open uh, drainage system. And uh, because, they use, uh, because of the recycling mantle, is they, they use very toxic chemical. So it goes directly to the river. And there's, there, there's no kind of monitoring system or, 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 uh, or organized management to really control what should be released to the river. Uh, and also, like at the community level, there's no like a collective, self-collective organization. What do you call it? Uh, collective, collective. Yeah. Uh, so basically, people don't organize themselves. They just act on individual interest. For example, if the water is polluted, I would have my own filter tank. For example. Uh, and in in those communities, they 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 they, they report that they experience, you know, already the weird climate uh, 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 factors, say, say, for example, the unusual and sudden flood or inundation and very unpredictable rainfall and... <laughs> <laughs> so basically, all, all these factors, uh, they, 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 they basically say they cannot use indigenous knowledge that they have before to really cope with, 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 with say, agriculture-based activity anymore. So that's why uh, uh, they suffer lower in, uh, like less income from agricultural activity and also the level of groundwater is dropping uh, you know it's very, uh, so this is a picture of, of, of you know, the toxic the discharge from the workshop it's really close to the river and go directly to the surface water the river at the back and also the rice field and this is a kind of how the water filtration system look like and they say that no I don't we don't trust it, but we have no choice. Um, yeah, so these are some you know, kind of uh, problem uh, reported in the areas, and it is worsening. Um, and uh, what, uh, so who are suffer, suffering more from this problem of well, women because of that triple role when they are, when they reported very, uh, a lot of like waterborne diseases and women will be the one who have to take care for the family. Uh, seeking our support from outside, and they also still have to do a productive role. And uh, see, th those are women who just doing the kind of cheap labor kind of thing, and uh, and because uh, uh, having more children is a symbol of wealth, so they also have to be a more children and take care of more children. Uh, and also, um, the senior and the poor people in the community suffer more because they are the one who live on farm base and you know, the water is so com contaminated. So they, they are the one who suffer a lot, a lot of loss of crops. Compared to the, what they say is the pollution uh, maker who are basically the workshop owner of the mental shop. So yeah, so they you know, earn more but they suffer less from, from those uh, um, pollution. And the next step, uh, you know, uh, they are go going to do more in-depth analysis on vulnerability and adaptation strategy uh, though in the community and also you know, what kind of supporting program in place. Thank you. <laughs>